The dog Osardo is an extremely rare livestock guardian dog breed which is almost completely unknown outside of Italy. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the dog Osardo. I would love to thank Barbara and Alexa for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Dogo Sardo breed and you would like to see more of them, definitely check out their Instagrams. There is no official breed standard of Dogo Sardo, but it's always a very athletic, strong and muscular big dog with pretty intimidating appearance. The average height is typically between 55 to 65 centimeters, which is 22 to 26 inches, and weight between 35 to 45 kilograms, which is 77 to 100 pounds. The females are naturally a little bit smaller than males. The coat is short, smooth and dense and you can find this breed in many colors including brown, black, red, grey, fawn, brindle or any combination of these colors. The head of Dogo Sardo is huge and they have pretty long muzzle for a molosser dog. They have well developed and strong jaws. The ears are traditionally cropped and tail dogged but naturally they have long tail and medium sized ears. They have intense and serious expression in their amber or brown round shaped eyes. The dog of Sardo was bred for centuries to be the best protector and guard, which means they are extremely loyal to their owners, to their family, but very suspicious and alert towards strangers. Prepare for a strong bond between you and your dog, because dog of Sardo will want to be around you all the time. They are totally devoted. Because of their strong body and dominant nature, this dog breed is a poor choice for novice dog owners. It's because early socialization and proper training is a must, otherwise they can grow into aggressive dogs who will be extremely territorial. This is one of the best watchdog and protector you can get. If they are not raised with other dogs, they can be aggressive towards them. They normally don't have problems with other animals like goats, horses or sheep. But this can be vastly influenced by socialization and training. The dog Osardo is definitely intelligent breed, but they are not pushovers to train. It's because of their independent and dominant nature. The training sessions should be short, otherwise they might become bored, stubborn and unwilling to train. It's important to be firm and patient leader, only then you can have obedient dog Osardo. Until the 20th century, only a few Dogo Sardos left the island of Sardinia. It was because the Sardinians valued this working dog very highly and they were suspicious towards outsiders, well just like the Dogo Sardo is. This changed lately when more Dogo Sardos left the island and now you can find them in other Italian regions as well, but it would be extremely rare to see a Dogo Sardo outside the Italy. This is very old dog breed and just like with most of ancient dogs, their origin is unknown and surrounded by mystery. It's believed that they share similar ancestry with other Italian Mastiffs, like Cane Corso or Neapolitan Mastiff. Other theory says that the Dogo Sardo is different from other Italian Mastiffs and that they were brought to the Sardinia by Greek or Phoenician traders. Well, the only thing we know for sure is that the Dogo Sardo was predominantly developed on the island of Sardinia and even today you can mostly find them on this island only. They were highly valued by Sardinian farmers for their extraordinary guarding skills, but they were also used for guarding property or hunting wild pigs and deers. It's also believed that Sardinian army used Dogo Sardo as a war dog in the past, but just like most of the Dogo Sardo history, it's surrounded by mystery. This is a low maintenance dog breed which does not need any special coat care. Just like with all dogs, it's important to regularly check the dog's ears, eyes and nails and clip them or clean them if needed. The dog Osardo is healthy and sturdy dog breed, but just like all dogs, they still suffer from some health issues, most commonly from hip and elbow dysplasia, entropion, progressive retinal atrophy and bloating. Tell me in comments what you like the most about the dog Osardo and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.